Hey, it's Shelly from Best Buy Blog. Over the past month, I've been perfecting my espresso skills with the Breville Arista Touch Impress. You can find this espresso machine by clicking on the link in the description below. How you make espresso is generally a matter of personal preference and everyone likes things just a little bit differently. I like lactose free milk and I don't like my espresso to be overly hot. While my husband likes extra hot espresso with oat milk or whole milk, and he likes to have a shot of vanilla in it once in a while. So everybody is different and that's why this is such a fantastic machine for everyone because you can completely let the machine take over and use the touch screen to walk through every step of the process of making a certain kind of drink like an espresso or an Americano or you can customize your espresso by dialing in certain settings. After using this machine fairly steadily for a month, I'm going to share a few of the tips that I've picked up along the way so that you can customize your espresso. The Breville Barista Touch Impress is a super automatic espresso machine. So that means it has a built-in grinder. It'll also dose your espresso beans straight into the portafilter. If you'd like to be completely hands off with the process, all you have to do is select the beverage that you'd like on the touch screen and follow the instructions. And once the dose has been properly tamped, you will have to tamp it. You'll just move it over and the espresso extraction process will begin. But what if you found that the grinder wasn't grinding your beans as fine as you'd like? Well, then in that case, you can adjust the grinder. There is a dial on the side of the Breville Oracle Touch, and all you have to do is turn it for fine grind or for coarse grind. And it's numbered 1 to 30. Once you do that, you will have to calibrate your grinder. And this is a very important step that I don't think anybody should skip with this machine because it will calibrate the grinder specifically for that type of grind. Every single time that you switch the grind, you should recalibrate it and it will actually run even better. It will grind it exactly the way that you'd like. If calibrating the machine every time you change the grind type doesn't work, you can actually adjust it inside the burr grinder. As you can see here, there's a couple of arrows. One says fine coarse and the other says align. There are also numbers. So to adjust the inner burr grinder, all you have to do is remove the metal bracket and you can spin that dial so you can turn it towards fine or coarse. That micro adjustment will make a difference when you're grinding your beans. For me, I didn't really veer towards fine or coarse. I kind of stayed in the middle between 14 and 15. So I didn't notice a huge difference when I micro adjusted the inner burr grinder. But if you use the level one for very fine or level 30 for coarse, you will definitely notice a difference. Another tip I picked up from using the Arista Touch Impress is that you should tamp it a little bit more than it asks you to. And when you do tamp your shot, you'll want to pull down on the arm as hard as you possibly can. Definitely don't break it, but you should pull down very firmly. Tamping is one of the only things on the Breville Oracle Touch that isn't completely automated and tamping it properly means that you have even distribution when extracting your shot. If you've ever been reluctant to own your own espresso machine because your favorite barista can get your espresso shot as hot as possible, you can adjust your barista touch impress so that it can produce extra hot water. So the temperature range on the barista touch impress is from 90 degrees Fahrenheit to 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's eight Celsius to 96 Celsius. And you can go into the settings and you can change the settings. So instead of the default water temperature, which is somewhere in the middle ground, you can always have it produce extra hot. When I first began testing this espresso machine, I was pulling just small shots and testing them with my temperature gun. Now I usually like my espresso somewhere in the mid range. So about 100 degrees, 120 degrees Fahrenheit. So I tested it out with the gun and came up with a reading of 95 degrees and that wasn't quite hot enough if I want my standard of about 120 so what I did was adjust the settings but I also turned the espresso machine on a good half an hour before I'd planned on using it and because I did that I gave the boiler a long enough time to really heat up and when I was ready to make espresso it was ready to produce extra hot water. 
If you've never really used an espresso machine before, you may not know that the perfect timing for an espresso shot extraction is about 30 seconds and the level barista touch impress will take care of all that for you but if you would like your shot to extract for five seconds longer or even 10 seconds longer it's completely up to you and one of the ways that you can keep an eye on it is just to watch the timer on the touch screen the timer will count down how long it's been extracting the shot and if you'd like to stop it all you have to do is just hit stop with the timer right there you can easily experiment with different shots and you'll soon know what tastes best for you depending on what filter I've been using I find that the extraction process stops at about 30 35 seconds and that's really the perfect amount if I'm standing right in front of the machine I may stop at about 28 to 29 seconds because I think that's great timing to enhance the flavor of the espresso beans that I'm using and if you're not interested at all in customizing the pour time or anything you don't have to you just tap the screen and it will do everything for you the barista touch impress has taught me a lot about frothing milk and steaming milk and the steam wand is one of my favorite features on this machine it will froth your milk for you automatically all you have to do is dial in your settings so if you'd like more milk froth you can turn up the dial for that if you'd like it to be as hot as possible, you can froth your milk at the top end of the temperature range of 170 Fahrenheit or 77 degrees Celsius. Like the timer that counts down your espresso extraction, there is also a timer of sorts on the milk steamer, only this timer will increase as the temperature increases. So you can actually see that happen on the touch screen. And one trick I learned to get my milk as hot as possible is to steam my milk manually. So I would let the machine run through the program of automatically steaming my milk and when it had the right amount of milk froth and the milk was almost as hot as I wanted it to be then I would just manually steam the milk for another minute more and it was always much hotter than it was had I just left it just run the automatic setting. While I am definitely not a pro with the Brista Touch Impress or any espresso machine yet, I am learning and I'm having a lot of fun using this machine. I really think it's a great option for anyone who's just learning how to make espresso, but it's also the type of espresso machine that can grow with you. You can learn the ins and outs of different espresso beans and what they taste like at different levels of extraction, and you can switch up your grind types or experiment with with different water temperatures. You can find the Breville Barista Touch Impress right now by clicking on the link in the description below and heading over to Best Buy. And if you'd like to see other photos and read my tips on using the Breville Barista Touch Impress to make espresso, you can head over to Best Buy blog. Thanks for watching.